Okay guys, the Ryzen 3900X is here and the AMD uh, Radeon 5700 XT graphics card is also available. There's a lot of hype about it. So let's find out, is it really worth the hype? Well, let's check it out in this gaming review. Bam. Okay, there's a lot of hoopla about the Ryzen 3 and the Radeon 5700 XT. Now, Ryzen line of processors have been doing really well. Ryzen 1, 2, Threadripper, which is also based off that, as well as also now the Ryzen 3. I have a lot of faith in this, but the Radeon XT, the 5700 XT, I wasn't too sure. Because you know what? The graphics cards from AMD have not been doing so well. Although I will say though, the Radeon 7, oof, beautiful card. I do have it in one of my machines. So this gives me a lot of hope. It's a new architecture, it's Navi, it's what's gonna be in the Xbox, five, Xbox Next, and the PlayStation 5, you name it. But let's focus on this. So we decided to go ahead and do a build. First off, gotta thank AMD for sending over both the Ryzen and the Radeon graphics cards we're using, the 3900X and the 5700XT, and also for Aurora for sending us this lovely SSD. Now, this build starts off uh, with a case from Thermaltake, um, which uh, we, we picked up. We also picked up a power supply from Thermaltake as well. Uh, the motherboard is an ASUS ROG Crosshair board. Really nice, especially just for its placement. It looks really good and clean in there. Our uh, RAM, we're using uh, 16 gigs of RAM from G Skills. I love that gold color. It lights up. It looks really good in in, in there. Uh, again, like I said, our main um, SSD is an M. MVMe M.2 from Aurora, it's Aurora Genesis Extreme. This is a lovely um, SSD because it lights up. So the colors match well with the case, everything you have in there with all the lighting and of course the, the motherboard lights up as well. Um, our um, other SSD is from uh, Gigabyte. It's a two gigabyte S uh, uh, SS, two terabyte SSD, sorry. Uh, so we've got enough for uh, gaming, enough for Windows, one terabyte for Windows, two terabytes for gaming uh, in there. Um, and and our, our, our cooling is also thermal take as well. I'll be using the you know, water cooler, I think 2.0. Now, in terms of the graphics card, as you know it, it's the stock card from AMD. Looking at this whole build, it looks beautiful. I love the lighting, I love the case, I love everything. It's really nice and compact, but there's a lot of power packed in there because um, in terms of benchmarks and what we've seen, this thing runs really well. It looks, it, it's hardcore, but how does it, work for us with games. So we got to spend some time playing two games. Uh, we played uh, some Division 2, uh, which, you know, again, this is a game that uh, AMD has optimized. And we played some Tomb Raider, which is a game that actually NVIDIA has optimized. So I wanted to see some of the differences there, not comparing, but just seeing how it actually pairs up in terms of gameplay. Now, before we get to some of that gaming itself, AMD has some software. And I've got to say, if you've not used an AMD system in a while, the software is really improved. You know, AMD Ryzen Master uh, allows you to just go in and you can, of course, overclock any way you want. You've got some presets there. They've got creator mode, allowing you, especially if you're a video editor, things like that, uh, which I am, so that's great. And there's also a gaming mode. As a gamer as well, if you don't know how to um, overclock and you're kind of worried about it, you can use those presets and you, can, you have two more slots for your own, which is great. Then they also have the adrenaline um, um, software which is for the graphics cards, allowing you to um, optimize things within the card. You've also got Relive, which now allows you to capture properly so I can capture uh, my gameplay and record and also stream. All of that cool stuff. And I'm so, some of you looking at that wallpaper, yes, we'll have it in the link in the bio. Now, let's talk about games on here. Now, in terms of gaming performance, I've got to say though, um, I was quite impressed. Starting off, let's start off with um, Division 2, which of course is an AMD optimized game. So this is running at roughly uh, um, high um, in terms of the settings, high and ultra, we kind of alternate between the two. And uh, resolution was at 1440. And at 1440, we're getting some really good frame rates. Uh, we, at high, we're getting frame rates at about up to 70 frames per second. It runs pretty smooth here. And then when we move to ultra, we're getting about 47 to 50 frames per second. Uh, now, uh, what I enjoyed was the fact that it was a smooth gameplay session. I was able to go through. There were a little slowdowns here and there, 
there, but it ran pretty well, showing how good that processor is and also the card itself. Now, when we move over to um, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider uh, at uh, 1080p ran at a, almost at 100 frames per second. Depending on how I actually wanted to push it, uh, the lowest I got was about 80 and I got about 120 frames per second at 1080p. So you, if 1080p on this, you're gonna just have an awesome time with it. Uh, at 1440, you got it got down to maybe about 50, 60 frames per second. So again, some nice, uh, you, you got some nice performance of this car. Card, uh, both the card and the processor together. I've got to say that I'm really impressed with the processor. I think the card is nice. Uh, the 5700 XT is a nice card and it does a good job. So you can scale and do whatever you want to do. Maybe even pick up that uh, Radeon 7. I really like the Radeon 7 as well. But the 3900X, that processor really does a fantastic job and you get to see it do well within uh, your gaming sessions. I, I, you're gonna love it, especially at its price point because this is this compares to a Core i9 9900 uh, and it really shows. There's a lot to say about this setup, especially what AMD has to offer. If you're a big fan of Ryzen, Ryzen 3 delivers. I think you can use it with an AMD uh, graphics card or your Nvidia graphics card and you're gonna have some really solid performance of it. I really like that. In terms of the graphics card, the 5700 XT, this is a good mid-range card and I think you're gonna get bang for your buck. I am now using a lot more high-end cards. So for me, it doesn't, meet my own expectation because I want to push out as much as possible. But if you're looking for bang for your buck at $400, you can't go wrong. I think AMD has finally stepped up their graphics card game with a card that makes a lot of sense for gamers and uh, the combination is great. And thinking about how you can pair all this together, I know some of you are gonna be wondering, okay, can you put out links for the things you have in the build? I'll put them in, it's there in the bio so you can check all of them out from the SSD, the graphics card, uh, the 1500 XT, the 3900 X. Uh, look, I'm really impressed with this whole thing. I think it's really good and I think a lot of people are gonna like it and I think you will like it too. So if you have any questions, any comments about this uh, build, uh, you know, the games and also just the performance of the 3900X. Uh, if you're looking to pick one up, use them down below. The link down below is also the 5700XT. Look, I, I like what I see for AMD, so I'm quite impressed right now. The 3900X is really cool. Uh, stay tuned though, I will have a video soon comparing the 3700X to the 2700X. I do have a 2700X build, so I'm gonna give you guys some comparisons if you're looking at that also in terms of switching that one grade. But think about it this way, this is also the coolest part about the Ryzen processor. You can still your original, uh, use your original Ryzen 1 board for the Ryzen 3. That's super cool. Now there's some benefits that you will not partake in, like of course the ability to use PCIe 4.0, but the fact that you can upgrade by the switching your chip, lovely. Anyway guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like this video, share it, and always enjoy your entertainment. Jonah!